Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Queen Victoria of England. I'm going to take two fingers in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, bring it in a little bit, come back up to the dot, curve line down on the right, bring that in a little bit. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a little curve line down, up, and connect. Come back to the top and we're going to draw a straight diagonal. One curve line, two curve lines, three curve lines, straight diagonal down, connect. Come back to the top, one baby circle, two baby circles, three, four, baby circles. Inside this space, try and draw as many little baby circles as you want from left to right. Okay? Now, I come back to my middle space right here and on the bottom left right here, I draw a straight line down. Slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw Curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Inside I draw one baby circle, two, three, and now a big curve line down, up, connect. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, one, two, three, Come back to the top, slightly curved line down, one more if you can fit it in. Okay. Now, I come about midpoint right here and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the left. Jump over and we're going to draw a big wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. Come down to about here on this point right here, we're going to draw that wavy, wavy line off the page. Okay. Come back inside. We're going to draw a curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Come back to the left. Curve line, curve line, connect on the left, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Come on the inside and just draw a little curve line, little curve line. In the center. Straight diagonal down, little curved line, up, come down below. We're going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, little curved line. Okay. I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line off the page. And now I'm going to come up here on this section and draw baby circles all the way across this space. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line. Now I'm going to fill in each of these spaces with a repeating pattern. And I'll tell you why when we color. But right now I'm just going to put a little curve line, one, two, three, four, if you can fit. On this one I'm going to do curve line up, down, up, down. On this one I'm just going to put baby circle, baby circle, repeating patterns, baby circle. On this one I'm going to put zigzag, 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 and now on the interior part zigzag, 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 and now on this last space curve line, 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 
curve line. I come up and on the left hand side right here I'm just going to draw a little wavy line and on the right hand side I'm just going to draw some wavy lines going off and down. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, Queen Victoria was in charge of England and the British Isles, the British Empire, for 63 years. And about midpoint, when she was married to her husband, Prince Albert, he died. And from that moment on, she only wore black. So our whole composition is going to be in grays and blacks, except for a little bit of color. One part of color that we can do is she had very blue eyes. So I'm going to use my blue-green for my blue eyes. If you have a peach or an apricot, I'm going to color in just this part of her face and her neck. She was only five feet tall and she was kind of chubby in her older years, so just go ahead and color this in or leave it white if you don't have a peach. Okay? And don't forget her ear. Then, just so I could have a little bit of color, I did this pink on her crown. I did this pink inside the crown. And I did her earring pink. This big part pink and her necklace pink. And then that's it because for the next almost over 20 years, all she wore was blacks and grays because she was in mourning grieving the death of her husband, Prince Albert, who she had nine children with. So she was pretty upset and not very happy after that. Okay, so in order to show the differentiation between the blacks and the grays, all of these little details, I'm going to do a very hard black, anything that would be considered a design element. I'm going to color dark with my black crayon. In this section, I'm going to do black. In this section, I'm going to do black. Okay, so you do that really, really dark. Then you come back with your same crayon, your black, and you just add another shade of black to color in her dress which was very elaborate. It was just that everything was black or gray. And every once in a while, she would, if she had any color on at all, it had to come from her jewels. Pretty much that was it. Now, this long thing here, this is her veil. So inside, I'm going to take my gray and so that I can tell this is hair. I'm going to give her a couple of streaks of gray. Then, because it's so white, 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 I take my gray and very lightly I color in the background. And this is so that you can see how very white she really was. Very black and white. She ruled for so long they named that span of time the Victorian era. All the way down. We'll do this. Pretty simple. Not very happy, but that's the way she was in her older days. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Queen Victoria all colored in. Not real happy, but in those later years, she really kind of wasn't. Anyways, another interesting fun fact about her was when she got married to Prince Albert, she only wanted a white wedding dress, which was not the usual. People could dress in color for their weddings, but because she wanted white wedding dress, from that point on, most other people wanted a white wedding dress also. Okay, bye-bye.